Now before we go any further, it should be noted by definition what a template is, and a template is something that serves as a master or pattern from which other similar things can be made. So to create a template based upon what I have here, in other words, I want an original that contains my address, my company's name, and my name, because I've got a lot of people to fax to, and it's not always going to be the same person. So I want to get rid of those dynamic fields because they'll always be changing, but I have a template that I don't have to type in my address every time my company's name and my name because it'll always be from me. So let me go ahead and clean this up a bit and finish entering in the rest of my address here before I save it as a template. Let's say I don't have a fax number for the field, just go ahead and delete it. Delete it again and it collapses. And let's see the web address for our website. And then these are the static fields that I want to keep before I save it as a template. Again, my address, website, company's name, my name. These other fields contain dynamic information that will always be changing, so I want to go ahead and delete it, who it's to, their phone number. Maybe it's not always regarding essential oils, delete that. It may not always be the same amount of pages that I fax them and on the same date, today. And then please comment, let me go ahead and copy this square and paste it over that X so I can choose something different the next time I fax somebody and then delete the comments and there we go. Now I can go ahead and save this as a template so anytime I need to fax somebody in the future I don't have to retype in my address, website, again the company name and my name but just fill in the other fields. Saves me some time on data entry, okay? So to save it as a template, well you can do it one of many ways, but I recommend one way, or one way that I like a lot, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But the ways you can save it right off the bat is just to come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Save As, and just change it from a regular Word document to, clicking on the drop down arrow, the word template.dotx, not the earlier version, which is 97 through 2003, but the latest version, which is the word template.dotx, select that, and it allows you to save your template with that extension in any folder you want, which is fine, but Microsoft actually has a template folder that you can save it into. What's the benefit of doing that? Well, let me show you. If I go ahead and save it to my desktop, let me come over here, select desktop, and let me save it there, okay? So I save it there, but if I want to save it into Microsoft's default template folder, then I have to come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Save As, brings up the same window, scroll up to the top in the navigation pane and I have to select the templates folder because obviously in order for me to save this template here into the Microsoft templates folder. Let me go ahead and give it another name, call it, and then click save. Now what's the benefit from saving it in the Microsoft template folder? Well for one is that when you want to create a new template because I saved it to that default Microsoft template folder all I have to do is come up here click on the file tab, go down to new, come over here, click on My Templates, and there it is, okay? Then all you have to do is go ahead and select it, and it says, what do you want to create? A new document based upon the template, or a new template based upon that template? By default, it's new document. Go ahead and click Okie Dokie. It opens up, and you can see in the title bar, it's a document, not a template. When I click Save, it's going to save it as a document, not a template. Sure, it looks like it wants to save it in the previous folder where I was last, and that's the templates folder, but, you know, I can come over here to the desktop, type in a name for it, and again, it's going to be a document, not a template. Go ahead and click Cancel. So that's the main reason why I like saving it in the Word template folder, so I can go ahead and click File to New and select My Templates, and it's right there, okay? Now remember, I also saved my template to the desktop. Let me go ahead and close out of here. I'm not going to save it. Let me close out of that. And there it is, the template on the desktop. Now when I double click and open it up, is it going to open up as a .dotx file, the actual template, or is it going to open up as a copy of the template? Well, when I double click, it opens up as a copy of it. So that way, I don't overwrite the original unless I intentionally want to do that. And you want to watch the next training video so I can show you how you can modify your template here and overwrite the original. It's really simple, but I want to keep it as two separate training videos in case if you're not interested in modifications and overwriting the original template at this time, but learning how to actually create a template. So let's go ahead and click Save. You can save this as a new document. Maybe it's going to be to George. This is my fax. Go ahead and click Save. Let's close out. So now I have my original template when I double click. Makes a copy of it. It's left untouched. And then when I close out, I have a copy of it that I saved it with George's information, double click while I have to type in his information, you know, to George and, and any other information that he has, okay? 
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.